At our first alert forecast, and we are starting with a live view here from our Chatham Parkway Toyota Red Sky Cam. Not seeing any of the haze and smoke, at least in the Savannah area, it was a much uh, drier day across the region. Uh, as far as the sunshine goes, we had a lot of that today, and that's going to continue with the clear skies into the evening, keeping it warm too. A lot of 60s when you wake up in here tomorrow morning with a sunset coming up at 704. So hour by hour, it's going to show us temperatures into the 70s here, upper 70s by 6 p.m., low 70s by 9 9 p.m. at midnight. We fall back into the 60s. We keep that northeasterly wind. That's going to continue into our Thursday. So tides are a little bit above uh, normal astronomical values, but we don't expect any flooding with these tides. As you see, mid 60s there by that 5 o'clock hour. And I think we're going to see some low 60s at that 6 o'clock time frame. Statesboro and Claxton, even over towards Hampton. And everybody will start out with the dry weather, which we're seeing now. Clear skies. These are a look at our current temperatures 84 in Statesboro, Claxton, Butte at 83. We had a little bit of shower activity earlier with a few clouds from Alma Jessup southward. That's all moving out of the area, so we should keep things on the dry side. There are a few more showers offshore with high pressure located to the north of us. That circulation is going to try to bring in an isolated shower in here for tomorrow. We do have a rain chance at 10%, but really there's not much way of any rain chances coming up, even though we're going to be watching our next cold front stretching from uh, parts of the UP and Michigan all the way down into Texas, getting into our area late Friday. So warm temperatures ahead of that front. That onshore flow will continue into Friday morning before it turns more to the west southwest ahead of that front. And that front is going to move through with not a lot of rain chances, but it will bring in the cooler temperatures as we head on into our weekend. So we get you out the door tomorrow morning with those mid 60s. There is that 10% chance for a shower, mainly along the coast layers. That'll continue throughout the daytime. But you notice if uh, we get away from the coast, it's really a mostly sunny day with highs reaching 84 degrees. And that is right where we should be this time of the year. So the front moves through late Friday and then the cool air kind of lags behind a bit. So we're still looking at a temperature about 80 there on Saturday. Very slight chance for an isolated shower early on Saturday, but I think a lot of us will be mostly sunny. And then we're going to see those temperatures in the inland areas falling back in the upper 40s there on Sunday morning with dry weather. High of only 73 on Sunday. Coolest morning coming up on Monday. Mid to upper 40s here heading into Monday morning. Even around 50 degrees here in Savannah. Could be our coolest morning since back in May 4th when we had 49 officially here in Savannah.